What's up tech fans, Kevin here on Tech of Tomorrow. Now today Nvidia is releasing its latest set of drivers, which along with the usual set of upgrades and optimizations, is also including the beta for Nvidia Shadowplay. Now what Shadowplay is, is Nvidia's free game capture software for people that own 600 or 700 series cards. Now what's cool about this is A, it's free, and B, Nvidia cards are already designed to be optimized for it and make use of onboard resources, and as a result, the impact on your performance should be minimal. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So as you can see here, we're running GeForce Experience. And up here in the upper right hand corner, we now have this option for shadow play. So click on that, flip on the power button, and you can see that you have a couple different options to mess with. First off, there's the recording method, the options being manual and shadow. Manual mode works like most game capture software where you hit a hotkey once to begin recording, hit it again to stop, and it records everything in between. Shadow mode, on the other hand, is constantly always recording what you do in games running in full screen, and saves them as temporary files in 20 minute increments. And when you hit the recording hotkey, it immediately saves whatever period of time you previously set up. Right now we have it set to five minutes, but you can go to the setting right here and change it to anywhere you'd like between one minute or the full 20. So what's great about this is you can always record those great moments that happen in games that you weren't planning on, so you didn't have to be recording in advance. Now there are a couple other options as well, including being able to record audio or just mute it so it's video alone, and you can record in three different video qualities, low, medium, and high. So to give you guys an idea of how Shadowplay actually looks, we went ahead and recorded a couple samples from Batman Arkham Origins in the earlier parts of the game. Now we recorded the same minute long scene three times using each quality setting. And the one we're going to show you right now is the high quality one that we captured using our system which includes a GTX 780 and an i7 4770K processor. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. These are Black Mask's men. I'll make them tell me where I can find Black Mask. So there you have it. Now what was really cool about that scene is the fact that when we weren't running shadow play, that scene was averaging around 98 frames per second. Whereas when we were running shadow play, it only went down to 92 and a half, which is really only about a 6% decrease, which is really good considering. Now of course, this video was compressed when we uploaded it to YouTube, so if you want to see the raw full version of the clip, as well as the low and medium quality ones, you can find download links for them in an article that we have posted in the description. Well that was just a quick look at the beta version of Nvidia Shadow Play. There are more features planned to be released in the future, including the ability to stream via Twitch. Now if you're an NVIDIA card owner, please make sure you get those drivers for yourself today and let us know what you think in the comments when you get to try Shadow Play out for yourself. And as always guys, if you've been enjoying this content, please make sure to go to town the like button to let us know. And if you're not a subscriber yet, definitely make sure to become one now because we've got a lot of great content planned for you, including a full review of Batman Arkham Origins. Till then, I'm Kevin, you've been watching Tech Tomorrow, and we'll see you next time.